Yes, I did. But now I know for a fact it's streaming because I have the icon. About audio. There we go. All right. Let's get this show on the road. All right, guys. Welcome back. Right. What's wrong with Close this planet? Close to best anyway? gaming. With me, Yeti Roosevelt, and my two compadres, Dirty Redbird and the African Jetta. Tonight we're going to be discussing woo. our top five authors. American Mr. authors. Yes, that's true. That's true. Mr. African Jedi, would you like to start us off? Of course. Out of the top five, oh. my number five. And by the way, by the way, we're also going to be playing, attempting to play Overcooked again here on level three one. And continue. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, total casual game, no pressure whatsoever. But I'm going to start off with. The author that inspired a shebang lot of children out there to read and also try and become author themselves would be R.L. Stein. Because his little Goosebumps series just is part of the zeitgeist. I mean, there is no child here in America who does not have a favorite book in this series. And that's why I put him on there. <clears throat> I mean, I don't okay. see a lot of kids picking up freaking grapes of wrath or anything like that, but they do pick up Goosebumps books. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's gonna be, I love you, but the fact that you put that in your top five makes me want to kick you in the dick. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Straight. That's dick. what I'm here for. Dick kicking. That's right. Who just what do you got, Yeti? Uh, number five, uh, I went uh, with my personal favorite medium, and that is comics. Uh, and I went with Alan Moore. Writer who gave us Watchmen, V for Vendetta, uh, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Killing Joke, the greatest Batman books of all time. That pizza's gonna burn you. Uh, and uh, and of course his run on Swamp Thing, which was immaculate. What kind of nonsense kitchen is that? How do I get out of here? Ooh, terrible conditions. For my number five, I have Mark Twain. Okay. Uh, for, for obvious reasons. But then... Oh, I get that pizza! Uh, Tom's over here. Jesus Christ, turn it in! Obviously. <laughs> All right, Ruby, what do you have for four? Number four. I put Jack London down. Call of, the Wild. Call of the Wild and White Fang were my childhood favorite books. That's why he's on there. <laughs> Fuck this dope! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on purpose. <laughs> it's like a pissed off choice. Now I can't raise you. Uh, I, uh, number four, I have Edgar Allan Poe. Annabelle Lee, the cask of uh, Montatillo, uh, the Raven. And uh, Black Cat. Black Cat is probably my favorite story of all time. I have uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald. I, mean, I don't know what you're doing, but you're just like driving me over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You have to flush the potato. <laughs> <laughs> That's pizza, though, you asshole. Is <laughs> it? Oh. Groovy, what do you have for three? And number three, I got HP Love Friends. I need a bullet maker. What do I do with this dough? Am I like hitting it somewhere? <laughs> Put it in the you oven. It. After you, I have to after chop you the dough. Yeah. It's what? not a perfect what? system. Get that pizza, get that pizza. Get that pizza. I need a plate. Uh, no number three, I have James Baldwin. Notes of a native son. What? The fire next. The fire next time. Uh, go tell it on the mountain. Okay. I heard Alan very instrumental. Second death. No, uh, James Baldwin. Very instrumental. Okay. In, uh, American Civil Rights. It's a big effing deal, Gumby. This sounds I like it's a big fucking deal. Oh, oh, okay. Good choice. Good choice. Oh, no, no. Major, it hurt me too much, did it? They did not. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's proud of you. 
<laughs> right, what, do you, what do you got at two, Goombi? <laughs> Number two, it's by God, Stephen King. Okay. Just, just goes without yeah. saying. Yeah, very good choice. Barnett? Uh, number two, I have Hemingway. Uh, uh, Old Man at the Sea, Farewell to Arms, From the Bell Tolls, The Sun Also Rises. Uh, not to mention, he was a raging alcoholic, which is, of course, the most important thing in art. So. Yeah, that's what we want in our heroes. Look at Kurt Cobain. Boop your ass! I need to put cheese on that. <laughs> what am I supposed? To, what am I doing on this side? God I don't know what, what the what the job is here on this side. <laughs> I also have Hemingway at two. You got him on second. Hemingway, yeah, I have Hemingway. Hemingway second. I can't grab the pizza. You have no clean plates. Holy hell! Right now, there's one right there. There's two right there. I'm tossing them! Ah! Oh my god! Oh, uh, to finish that why I have For me, he <laughs> is the poet writer. Yeah, he's the greatest writer. And for me, it's the Telta Heart. That's that's one of my favorites. <laughs> we didn't even get a star. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. But oh, we educated man. the nation, okay? That's what we did here today. <laughs> Uh, okay. What do you have number victory. one, Daddy? At number one, I have William Faulkner. Uh, the Sound of the Fury. Uh, as I Lay Dying. Uh, to Have and To Have Not. And Soldier's Pay. I think uh, I think that Faulkner is everything Hemingway was and more, personally. Uh, at number one, I have Edgar Allan Poe. Because Edgar Allan Poe. Boom! There's, yeah, there's not an American writer that... I've read that I that I can read all of his stories and be really interested like I can with Poe. I can read anything Poe wrote and be all into it. I don't Same like Poe because he's a he's a Baltimore Ravens fan and that's just, I just can't deal with it. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> if he were alive, he would be. God, this is going to be a cluster. Wait, is that your card again? Yep, Goombi got kicked. Alright. Welcome back to the Baker and Barnett Show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta oh, fix, my, fix my engine to get in this hut. What am I supposed to do with this? No we're, gonna to, we're, gonna to, we're gonna have to quit out of this. We lost our damn African. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, uh, Wi-Fi is crap here in Kenya. <laughs> we're we're going to need an easier map. Who do you think the best author of all time is, American or not? Goombi? Agatha Christie. Her mystery novels, I guess, are just amazing. She just... She can write so many of them and they're all still freaking good, so she can maintain a constant good output of books out there for me. Yeah, she's up there. It's the top one. What about you, Ned? Yeti, what do you think? Uh, first of all, I just want to go ahead and say to you guys that I totally snuck Alan Moore in there, who's not even American. Second of all, I, was not even <laughs> I didn't run a background check, so <laughs> I didn't even notice. Uh, I just, I really thought somebody would bust my balls over that. But anyway, uh, I, I. For me, it's kind of hard to knock Shakespeare. I mean, that dude's been dead for, what, 400 years? People are still making a huge deal out of him. Yeah, you're right. Fuck Agatha Christie, yeah. Shakespeare. Uh, I, I take my shit back. <laughs> the, oh, oh, after all this time oh. was doing. <laughs> and as LFO said in their immortal song, Billy Shakespeare wrote a whole bunch of sonnets. Yeah, Shakespeare is easily the greatest author in history for me. I have his, I have his complete works on my bookshelf back there. And then yeah. I have about seven of his seven of his plays in play form on my bookshelf too. Shakespeare, Shakespeare is, is a big deal. There's a 
Amazon made a series out of King Richard, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've watched it multiple times. I'm trying to remember what the hell it's called, though. Something tells me we're at the 15 minute mark. We actually have oh, four minutes. Yeah, we're there. Four yeah. minutes, 17 seconds. No, yeah, okay. Just ignore the 15 minute remark. Just continue with the show. <laughs> it never happened. Called. Uh, but anyway, if, if you guys. The Hollow Crown. What was that? You guys were gonna. The Hollow, the Hollow Crown. If you ever get a chance to watch The Hollow Crown, watch it. Oh, it's like okay. five or six movies, and every single one of them is absolutely fantastic. Okay, I thought you said the Holocaust for a second, like kind of promoting this. <laughs> and it, it has a lot of big stars in it too, a lot more than you would think in like a a play type movie. It's, it's, it's also on this Amazon show, John. It's I don't think it's actually made by Amazon, but that's where I watch it at, because it has like uh, Tom Hiddleston in it. Oh. It has uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. A lot of really, like, really good stars. Realistically, though, I, I was going to put Mark Twain at five. I just wanted to see if I could sneak a braid in on you guys. I didn't even pay attention to five. I was more worried about the top top three. Yeah, yeah, nobody cares about five. It's just warm-ups. <laughs> That's why I put Arl Stein in there. Like, okay, cool. Here's somebody. Yeah, but he did. He did. He busted your balls for putting R.L. Stein, but I didn't even put a fucking American, and I was cool, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like R.L. Stein, man, really in the top five Let's artists. make some cake. Oh, shit. He inspired people, okay? He moved a nation with his writing. Chop that carrot, Gumby. We need to chop that carrot right now. Why oh, is God. the table moving? <laughs> That's part of the game, baby. Watch out for calls. I can't We're work under these conditions. Look at this flower. Oh, <laughs> oh, I got fucking nailed. I thought you were just joking. <laughs> nah, for real. It's a legit condition. There's cars. What are we doing with the flower? We need flower. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh, oh my god. Did you see that? Did I just die? Did I just die? Is this just this game? Going on? I want to get that shit. It's having a stroke. So why am I taking this? <laughs> He's like I'm not contributing well here. Honestly, what's the flower for? What is this little stack of seeds? Oh, I didn't think it was gonna get me. Yeah, yeah, that's the Spanish Inquisition for you, man. Ah. Oh my God, we have so many carrot cakes. Take it, my last. Ah! Why did I run back? Like I was scot free, and then I ran in. I think my. So we gotta put it in this basket. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm suing whoever owns this franchise here. The, the car franchise or the, the game? The restaurant. Oh. Uh, once again. Oh, oh my god. Once again, what do I do with this? We gotta, you gotta put it in the, uh, in the basket. I don't think it's done blending you. It's not done blending. Oh, oh god! Ah. <laughs> it does I'm bad. the last survivor. I should have taken it. Not just a good play. We're not getting a star on this one. No, we're not. What's with the there's constant wind too? Why am I over there? We're in Chicago, bro. I have a, I have a, what do you do with this? flour in your meat cake. Yeah, that's what's flour? supposed to go in there. Go put it in the water. I love when you talk dirty. Put it in? Oh, I put the flower you in the You have to ask, bro. You don't deserve it. <laughs> Say it be us forever. She didn't mean it. Oh, my God! Yeah, that's what you get. for getting into a relationship like that. That's, that's my meat cake. Alright, guys. That's all the time we have. I should deliver this food to my village. <laughs> Red bird out. <laughs> Peace out, people. Kenya out. Okay, that's